first I want to extend my sorrows and condolences again. I know that um, it's a hard thing. It's an emotional time. It's a, it's a point of, of grieving and um, showing the expressions that we have that have always held in our heart towards Liz and they kind of come out in these times. And it's, and it's a good thing. I want you to know, um, you probably already do know yourselves that it's okay. It's okay to mourn and it's okay to cry, um, to weep and to, and to show that emotion. It's, it's a good thing. Um, it's a point of, of being human. That's who we are. That's our emotions. And it's a good thing. And I helps, it kind of helps us move forward. Um, it's never going to make things easier for you guys or, or for anybody. Um, but it helps you move forward. And that's what, that's what Liz, I, I know that she would want from you guys. Um, I've had the privilege of, of having some, some deep conversations with her over the past, um, how long has it been? Five, seven, seven years. Seven yeah. years, right? Time goes fast. We've had some, some very um, intimate conversations together, and everyone has been something that has, been, has impacted me every time that we spoke. And that's because she always spoke from, from love, um, from joy, a point of caring, a point of wanting to teach basically without even coming across as a teacher but everything she said was a life lesson um and you guys were blessed to have have known her as long as you were because she i'm sure she has instilled so much wisdom um into you guys and you're and you're truly blessed because of that um there's a song i want you guys to listen to um if i can get it to play i was listening to it the other day and it just kind of reminded me of her her life and how she lived her life and and when you and you listen to it listen to the words um it's about three and a half four minutes long um listen to the words and, that, and i truly feel like this is something that um she would want you to hear and it's and it's based it's called promises by maverick city music and it's based off the promises of god and i feel like that's how she lived her life everything that she did was based off a promise that was given to her by God. So listen to the words here. Faithful through the ages Abraham, you're the God of covenant and faithful promises. Time and time again, you have proven to do just what you say. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain steadfast. And let my heart learn when you speak the word, it will come to
I think that like that song there is like to me is to me is super, is super powerful because it makes me cry and it makes me rejoice all in the same moment and and I think looking at looking back at at Liz's life how how she grew up her upbringing um, then going um, to getting married uh, losing her husband losing a son and she stood firm in those promises that God made her and that's what it kept raising her to the next level. Everything that she did was she would she would receive promises from God. She would receive vision from God and things would happen in her life. And you could either succumb to them situations or you can meet them and rise them through the vision and promises that God has given you and raise up to another level of glory. So you can rise from glory to glory or you can go from glory to underneath. And she kept rising from glory to glory. And what what Liz did, this is what I see, and I'm and I'm gonna speak um, as as God given me given me wisdom for this, is that the platform that Liz left this earth was for her grandchildren, right? So Liz's platform was here, was her ceiling. Liz's ceiling is gonna become Casey and, and Rosie's floor, right? Does it make sense? So the ceiling that she left is going to become your floor. And that, so she is raising your level. She is, is accentuating you from glory to glory. And use that foundation that she has given you to, to move on to that next level, 
right? So we can we can sit back and we can be distressed. Um, we can feel wounded um, from loss. But sometimes in them losses are our greatest joy and our greatest treasures in life. So we can use the life that, that you know that she lived to really accentuate yourselves into another dimension of glory, right? So use the gifts that God has given you personally. Also use the gifts that God has given her that she has instilled into all of you to raise yourselves to another level of glory, another level of honor. Um, and that's what she would want. And that's the legacy that she's going to leave behind is, is that for her, for especially for Kenny, um, but for her grandchildren. Like she, she loved, she, she, but him, her and Kenny, they butted heads, but they were always there um, for each other. They loved each other. But there's one thing that she never had an issue with, and that's her grandchildren, ever, ever. And she, like the legacy that she is living, that she has left behind, is for you to receive that, receive that, and use it. Because that's what she would want. Does that make sense? Yep. I hope so. Um, I'm I'm honored to to be here, I'm, and I thank you guys for allowing me to do that. Um, when you have time, when you go home, play that song again. Listen to that song. You'll hear you'll hear a lot of times you go to funerals. I've been to many funerals, and some of the songs that they play are very somber. Um, they kind of make you feel a little bit <laughs> a little bit down but the the song that that god was showing me to play is a song of rejoicing and holding firm into the promises that god has given us because we're always going to face bad situations that's life you know you hear you hear a lot about america and the things that are going on in our country and no not everything's not perfect at all um i've been to many different um nations around the world and I thank God for America. I thank God for the issues that we have here. Um, even though they're not all perfect, they're not all great. But listen, that's, that's life. And we're always going to face bad circumstances, bad situations. It's a matter of how you meet them bad situations is a true testament of who you are and your character. And all we have to look back on in the physical realm is her life. Because she did it. She said, she said, she set the path for you guys. She said it. You don't have to, you don't have to search for it. You don't have to look for it. She said it. She did it. She conquered it. She gave it everything she had to the last, to the last day. She was great the day before she passed away. She was that girl. <laughs> she was fired up. Like she wasn't, she was hanging tight to the promises that God had given her and she knew it. And she went out happy. She went out joyful. To be in the situation that she was in. And you couldn't even tell. You couldn't tell. You, you would walk in a room and not know. They, like, there's nothing wrong. Like, I looked at Kenny you know, and my mom. And I was like, like what's happening? <laughs> like, what's going on? Nothing, there's nothing wrong. You couldn't tell. And that's just the person that she was. Please, guys. Um, if you don't ever listen to anything that I say in, in my life again, <laughs> is use the ceiling that she has left for you. Use it. That's what she wants you to do. That's what's going to keep her legacy alive. Amen? Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Um, you guys want to share some stories or what you want to do? I think, I think that would be. I think we're gonna um, do that at the house. So. Yeah, we can. We can later at the house. Yeah, later at the house. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just say I agree that my mom certainly had a way for us, and you know she gave us a great way for us, and um, you know create a legacy, and um, I'm grateful for all her giving and always going above and beyond for us. No matter what, no matter what the that meant, and uh, say right there. Mm -hmm.
want to share anything now? One thing I, I would like, can, can, uh, can you lead us in the Lord's Prayer? Because anytime I prayed with my mom, that's what we prayed. Lord's Prayer? Yeah. yeah you want to stand up and... Uh... Yeah. You guys want to get in a little circle? Or? Yeah, I got it. and full of mercy will be instilled into everybody that has ever had an encounter with her, God. We pray that her impact will be marked for generation to generation. Her, her legacy will have no end. That everything that she has said, that every impartation of wisdom and love and knowledge, Lord, will be imparted into somebody else on her behalf, God, and her legacy will live forever. We pray that your name be glorified above all through her life, God above everything God we pray for your glory to be manifested Lord to be set forth in the life of Kenny and KC and, and Rosie and Lord and that that they will they will start moving to another level of glory God that you re, that remove every obstacle that has been coming in their way Lord every every health impartation Lord that is that is has coming against them God I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Lord I pray for health I pray for prosperity, not only financially, God, but physically, mentally, emotionally, Lord. I pray that you start paving the way, start creating the path for them, God. Start creating the path for them. Open their eyes to new things, to new visions, to new dreams. Remove any things that are coming against them mentally, any oppressions, depressions, God. I cancel them in the name of Jesus right in this moment. Lord, and I pray for a new wisdom a new sense of mercy, a new sense of love, a new sense of joy, and a compassion that will match no other God, that, that every circumstance that they see, that they'll receive it with mercy and with love. Lord, we need that right now in this world. We, we, we need that in this family, and we, and we just need your presence, Lord, above everything. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Ask Paul. No, she didn't. She's still very.